Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to the Stevie B Show. As always, I'm Steve Bordarelli, and I have a very special guest with me today, my dear friend Kayla Caulfield. Kayla, it is so good to see you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. Oh. Now, how long have we known each other? Since 2010, like 10, I think. So oh, yeah. I've been in. We uh, got to tell a little bit about Kayla. Kayla and I met during a play during, uh, in 2010. We did the play Annie. Yeah. You were... Um, one of the orphans, one of the orphans. and yeah. I and I was Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now, I most of the play I'm in a wheelchair and I'm just, you know, doing my lines and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But that's how we we first met. And uh, I wanted to ask you, um, you you did great. Uh, I found out that you're you're actually a model in, yeah. in real life. Can you tell a little bit about how you decided wanted to become a model? Did like somebody tell you you have the looks for? Oh a model? no, I mean, I, I'm I'm no you know. Kate Moss or like you know just no, Bun- Bun- Chen or anything, <laughs> but I just I was just interested in like in the fashion industry like you know all like dressing up in all the nice clothes and doing all my makeup and all that stuff. So I was very much into the you know the fashion perspective of it, like you know that oh, sort yeah. of thing. <laughs> so what did you do? Did you somebody? Did you go to somebody to uh, offer? So I um actually took some modeling classes at this uh, school, like a modeling school called Barbizon, and they did like runway. They done like like acting like monologues and things like that but I've been modeling since I was like 13 but since then I haven't really had like the height for modeling but I've you didn't... have to have a certain height in order to I mean model. well in, in this day and age you probably don't anymore because like all these models are like breaking out now like Ashley Graham the plus size model and all that stuff but um, I've done mostly print work which is like like commercial print work, so it's just basically just photo shoots and stuff like that. You've done quite a bit of work. You told me that you actually went to London, yeah, uh, to be in part of the fashion shoot. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. Yeah, so I went to London last September for uh, Fashion Week, and I went with this local designer. Her name was Luna Joaquim, and she actually has a store. She used to have a store in Malden. Now she moved to Brookline, uh, but she makes all these. Um, like elegant clothing, like like the 1940s clothing, and mm-hmm. she gets all the hats from Philip Tracy, who makes the hats for the royal family. So she has she like, makes the hats for the royal family. No, no, no. She gets the hats for from the people who make the hats for the royal family. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, like, I was watching the uh, bit of the Meghan Markle Prince Harry wedding and the hats. I mean, they're just like yeah, yeah this and the big and big and he, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Like but, so. But it was, so it was did fun. you wear one of those hats? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to wear one of those hats. Yeah, it was it was great. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. So. Um, how, how long were you in London for? Uh, I was in London for, for about a week. Uh, I, I forget what week it was, but it was like back in September. Uh, I went with my mom and a few other models and, of course, the designer and her team. Uh, so, uh, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience, you know, to at least be farther away from, you know, the did U.S. Did you say hi to the Queen? Oh, no, no, I didn't, I didn't get to see even though I, I did a tour of Buckingham Palace, but, mm. no, I didn't get to see her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. And uh, you also went to New York one time, right? Yeah, uh, I went to New York a few times for Fashion Week. Yeah, yeah. it was for like the same designer, but yeah. for a couple times. But okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at a couple of pictures, uh, some of the work you've done to show the audience what yep. you've done. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, this actually, before we do that, okay, actually, let's take a look at this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This oh, this is a beautiful one. This is um, a, looks like a wedding picture. Yeah, it was a wedding shoot that I did in this warehouse in um, in Somerville. Like I think it was in Central Square, um, and I think yeah, it was somewhere in uh, Somerville. But anyway, um, who shot the picture? Uh, she, her name was uh, Taylor Robinson, and she she's actually from New Jersey, but she moved to Boston to pursue in um, wedding photography. And uh, you can find her on NamastePhotography.com. Uh, so I've done like a I did like a shoot with her back in March. And it was like in a big, this big warehouse in Somerville. It's like, like a, it's like hidden away. It was, it was nice. Wow. Well, that looks, well, that looks beautiful. I like the way. Is that you make a beautiful bride too? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay, let's take a look at the next one, guys. Oh wow. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, that's that's uh, that's kind of risque, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> No, uh, what, what's this? What's this one? So for? this is uh, a line of hosiery from uh, VM Milano, and it's through this woman named uh, VM Brown, and she gets uh, the hosiery from uh, Italy, actually. Italy. Yeah. So uh, I've modeled for her. She has a studio in East Boston, and this is actually on a rooftop, and I think it was in like March or February. In a rooftop. So this is on a rooftop, yeah, a rooftop of her studio. 
And I remember it was like it was like so cold. It was like breezy. I think it was like like a few months ago, but it was so cold. I was like, oh, I can't stay out here for too long in this hosiery. Are you sure that's you and not Cindy Crawford? Oh yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I know, that's true. Like I don't know how people can how people can stand the, in those high heels. The, just, these these heels aren't that bad actually. Yeah, they they weren't. <laughs> over here, okay, but okay, that was very nice. Uh, we got one more. Let's take a look at that one more. Oh, this is very. This is beautiful. Early that, ones. That, that's one of the early ones. Yeah, I was seventeen, and this is from a photographer named Michael Rose, and he also has a studio in East Boston. Uh, this is more like a. Actually, no, it wasn't Michael Rose. It was um, it might have been Jessica Kirshner, but she also had a studio in East Boston. But we we all kind of collaborated doing the shoot. But anyway, um, it was like more like a glamour, uh, shoot, and the photographer's name is uh, Jessica Kirshner. She has a um, a photography company called Golden Fox Studios, um, mm -hmm. but this was, I was like 17 at the time, I think, so um, it's like one of my earlier shoes, it's like when I was kind of starting out. Yeah, yeah well, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it reminds me, it's very film noir, as they yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, I've done very, some stuff like that. No, they, they did a very, very good job, very, very beautiful. I really Thank you. It. Now, we're going to take a look at, um, over here, we're going to look at... Uh, some of the advertisements that mm -hmm. you've done okay so we're going to take a look at this one here first we got this one here um zippy creations zippy loom creations uh right here now we're gonna take a look inside can you tell me a little bit about this company so it's called um it's called authentic knitting board and uh, i've done a few shoots for them um it was through this woman named uh, Kim Novak. I know there's another famous Kim Novak, but there's, there's different Kim Novak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, she, I think she used to live in Vermont, uh, but I think she actually recently moved to Massachusetts. But, um, but I've done a few shoots with them, and I actually went to Vermont one time to do like a video instruction shoot, even though I, I, don't, I can't knit for my life. But, <laughs> yeah. Was, I can't knit myself. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my aunt can, but I can't. Uh, what's, what's this creation right so here? So, it's like a sweet Savannah blanket. Um, this is actually taken in a studio in Salem uh, from this photographer. Her name is, um, what was her name? Um, Leah St. Germain. Um, she has a studio in Salem, Mass. Uh, and, yes, my hair, my hair looks a lot darker than it did in the other <laughs> pictures. But um, Okay, here's another one. Yep, that's guy. Okay. Yeah, most of them were just like blankets, like all like mm. like how to like most of them were like how to how to work yeah. the the product. Now, how did you come across getting this job? If you so uh, I think um, I think I got it through um, might have been Model Mayhem or just some sort of casting that I saw online, and uh, it was like back also when I was sixteen or seventeen, or maybe eighteen. Um, I, I started doing shoots with them, but I also had to recruit models doing shoots for them like it can't be all just just me modeling their products like my friend jenny she was on the cover um i like so. this one here this is you look you look like a nun almost <laughs> i look like i'm that's what i look like 24 7 all wrapped up in a blanket no, and ready I to know. go to bed <laughs> you know it's funny the weather the thing about new england is if you don't like the weather just wait five minutes it'll change oh yeah um, <laughs> absolutely uh, yeah but that, that's well that's a very nice one yeah it was very, nice it was very it's very cozy very nice i must one. say it was okay. very cozy you know, take a look okay, we saw that too now um here is um this is a magazine it's called sophisticate sophisticate hairstyle guide i believe yep yeah okay it's and uh there you um this is one of the magazines you might see on uh and CVS or uh, like, a hair, like a hair salon, hair most, salon, most, okay. most of the part. Hair salons so or I'd, hair salons, and uh, look at it. So yeah. this is with the uh, salon in um, in Woburn, called uh, Paul Kenneth, Paul Kenneth Salon and Spot in Woburn. Uh, as you can see, my hair was a lot longer, and now it's red. But they recently cut, chopped it off, so now I have. Short right hair. Yeah, short right hair. I, yeah. wish, I, I wish I had hair myself. <laughs> I miss my long hair, to be quite honest, but I, but I just love it. I miss hair myself. Yeah, it'll grow back. <laughs> I'll go back. Okay. Now, um, this one, okay, this is one of the products that sold. Um, I got to ask you, why'd they make you do this face? I can't it was, believe it. It was more like... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted me to just look like, you know, quirky, like my age. I was young at the time. I was like 16 or 17 doing funny. this. Oh, yeah. And, and blonde. Yeah. You're blonde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, what, what product is this? Make Your Own Scarf. Yeah, it was the same company, Authentic Knitting Board. 
And you can find things like this at your local um, craft stores, so like Joanne Fabric, AC Moore, Michaels, and any craft store that they, they, you might be able to find these. Right. Here's some more of the product here. Oh, yeah. Um, now, this is um, KB10 Loom. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you got you another scarf right yeah, there. Yeah, another scarf. Yeah, oh, wow. bundled up. <laughs> oh, bundled up. Okay, take a look at that. Yeah. Now this this one, this picture I like of you. This is, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, the purple hat and everything like that. Yeah. This is called an adjustable hat loom. What what, is, what exactly does it? What the product? So though? I think I think it's just like a product, just so you can like make make a hat. I guess. I mean, mm. I, I, again, I'm not a knitter myself, so I don't know, you know, mm. how this works really, but. Um, but my aunt works, I mean, knits, so um, she has most of these boxes at her house, so. Uh. <laughs> okay. And finally, we have this one here that I like. This is an advertisement for more events, a wedding and event planning company. Yep. Take a look at that. You make a beautiful bride. <laughs> Thank <absolutely>. you. <laughs> and yes, it was with the groom this time. <laughs> with the groom this time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, um, interesting story about this one they told you told me that uh, they were looking for someone to play a reverend or a priest yeah, or whatever minister, yeah. and uh they thought i wasn't old enough or looked old oh, yeah. enough to do yeah i could have i could have found that kind of a compliment i'm not old enough thank you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, i know yeah. i like to joke you know? and i know <laughs> so that is um wow you are busy though you are absolutely i mean i'm very impressed with thank this. you You're very good thank now you. Yeah, we're gonna take a look right now um You've done quite a few movies, you know. Um, you're going to take a look at some of uh, your demo reel just to okay. show some of the acting projects you've done. Absolutely. And we'll take a look at it, okay? All right. So let's take a look. Which medical school will we attend, dear? Is it an Ivy school or? We needed a hero. We created one. Kate always saves the best for me. Don't you, my lion? Your purpose? My purpose? I mean, I'm a single mom, but at least I need the money at least. Lead singer? She sings from the heart. Perhaps more than I'd like, to be honest. No. Excuse me? My sweet Kate, ah, uh, my dear Kate. So, tell me. Do you remember that long, long day on your yacht? I mean, every year's the same anyway, right? Don't say that. She'd be happy it's being used. Oh, what well, that very that was that was unbelievable. That was great, <laughs> impressive, great, impressive work. I, Thank I really you. appreciate it. Now, one other thing, I, I want to talk about this story. We have done. We actually just recently we were in Woburn and we actually shot a commercial for um, a sports bar and grill there. Yeah, scoreboard. Yeah, scoreboard. It, 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 that's one of the things we worked on. Yeah. One of the thing we worked on. I, I want. I want to share this story because it's a really heartwarming story. Kayla and I were in at Logan Airport about a year, and was it last year? I yes, think? last year, last in April. Year, we worked three days as extras for the movie Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home Two. Daddy's Home Two. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, have, I still haven't seen number one. Okay, and uh, we the movie stars Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, and John Lithgow and Mel Gibson, believe it or not, and uh, we were shooting for three days at Logan Airport. Okay, mm -hmm. we were extras. We were back with all the extras. Now, here's the story I want to say. One of the extras, his name was Billy. Billy's a wonderful kid. He's, he's a great guy. Well, Billy was born with Down syndrome. And one thing, and, but like I said, he's a great guy. I mean, and uh, during a break in one of the filming, Will Ferrell himself actually came up to Billy, you know, shook his hand, and actually had a picture taken with him. And I just mm. thought that was really, really sweet of Will Ferrell. Because, yeah. you know, but Will, Will is a great guy. I mean... Regardless of what you think of him as 
a comic or you think he's funny or not. He's a really a sweet guy. I mean, that, that's the thing that I like. I like things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's always, yeah. It's always nice to see like you know big stars who are, like very personal with you know people like us. You know. Well, we're not big stars. Oh, no, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> don't worry. You, you are too. Don't worry. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> just, just people like Will Ferrell will just you, you know have like a heart of gold. It's always yeah. nice to see something like that. Yeah. So um, also, we want to, we talk about this. Uh, you actually have a side job. You actually dress as characters for yeah. kids with uh, disabilities and everything. Uh, Can you tell us so, a little yeah. bit about that? So I do Disney characters for birthday parties on weekends. And not only do I do birthday parties, like I'll do parades, I'll do fundraisers, but also I'll do stuff for um, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, like I did one last weekend for mm-hmm. a 19-year-old uh, kid who's uh, nonverbal. And uh, his family didn't think he would make it to 19, even at the state he was in. Mm-hmm. So it was like very... Um, heartwarming to you know is, is it emotional sometimes yeah yeah it was yeah i guess very emotional especially for the family but um but yeah it's not all like butterflies and rainbows sometimes so it's like always for, like charitable things like that so um uh so yeah i i do stuff for, like make a wish like sometimes i go to hospitals or rehabilitation centers uh it all depends on like you know where, and, where, where i go and the kids must love it right? oh yeah 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 especially the families, the families especially love it. Yeah. yeah, that's a good. That's really a good thing. I'm I'm so happy that you do something for me. Oh Polish. yeah, that is really good. Mm. Now, can I ask you what? Are there any uh, future projects coming up for you? Uh nothing as of yet. Um, just just keep just keep chugging. That's all I do. Just you know, just keep chugging along. See what's what's out there. Should be starting up pretty soon. It's almost summer, so things should start coming up soon. Me too. Well, Kayla, I am so happy to have you on as a guest. I really appreciate it. You're a sweet girl. Oh, uh, you're you, a sweet guy. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. So. Uh, He's okay. a nice guy. <laughs> all right. Well, that's uh, all the time we have. I want to thank my big guest. I want. I want. <laughs> I want to thank my guest, Kayla Caulfield, for being with us, and I want to thank the c- crew behind the scenes here. And I hope if anyone, if anybody's watching out there, if you want to come down and do a show here at. Uh, Member Community Media, you're welcome too. And uh, thanks once again, and uh, we'll hope to see you next time. So this is the CVB Show. So until then, arrivederci. Bye.